Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming kind of a little bit of a different video for me. This one is, I kind of want to title it, Bougie Brushes I've Fucked With, <laughs> because it's kind of funny. Like, I started off with some brushes and now I'm like, oh, I got more brushes? Like, I don't know, it's weird. I buy some brushes to collect. For example, I have the Maschino collection with Sephora unopened over there, which I totally forgot about when I was thinking about this video. I was just focusing on like dollar value and how expensive the brushes I own are. And I thought this would be kind of interesting for you guys because I'm not one of those people that buys the most expensive brushes. Most of my makeup brushes, eyeshadow brushes are Morphe or Real Techniques. I would subscribe to the Morphe uh, brush club, like the monthly brush club for quite some time. So I got a lot of brushes from them. I also purchased a lot of their brushes because they're so affordable. Lots of Real Techniques face brushes and things like that. But here and there I did add some bougie brushes to to my collection and one of the first brushes that I heard so much hype about as a you know youtuber was the Tom Ford bronzer brush so I picked this up from Beautylish I don't know if they st still sell Tom Ford and these this is like a natural haired brush I think I bought this on Beautylish because you can do a payment plan if you buy something over a hundred dollars and this is a hundred and $15 bronzer brush. I'm the O5 brush and this is a brush designed for seamless bronzer application. Basically it's a luxury brush. It doesn't really say what it's made out of or anything on Tom Ford's website but I believe this is a natural hair. They did switch to synthetic brushes I believe this year or last year. This is a very light brush. I mean what do you think of like uh, how much 115 dollars should weigh like. I feel like this is pretty light. The metal part is probably the heaviest part of it, but it's a nice big bulky brush. Honestly, I feel like it is a beautiful bronzer brush, but it is not the end-all be-all of bronzer brushes for me. I'm just as happy using like the big Real Techniques powder brush as my bronzer brush or any of my Morphe brushes. I don't feel like I grab this one over those. So if you are, you know, just starting out on YouTube or you're a makeup enthusiast or makeup lover on a budget, don't feel like you need to run out and buy this brush because I have it and it's beautiful and you know, it's a nice item to have a luxury item, but it's definitely not the end all or be all of your brush collection. Another brush I heard so much hype on when I first started YouTube was of course the Marc Jacobs bronzer brush. Now this is quite a bargain compared to the Tom Ford one. This is $78 and I got pretty lucky this past year they were doing a Black Friday sale and these brushes were 40% off and I was like, you know what? It is the time for me to invest in a Marc Jacobs brush. This white ferrule is limited edition, I believe, and it says on here, it's an extra large bronzer brush that gives your face and body an effortless sun-kissed glow in a limited edition white brush handle and brush head. This luxurious brush was designed with a generous extra wide shape and feather soft bristles for a natural looking, perfectly blended tan. Easier to apply on face and body, use a brush for foolproof finish and instant bronzing gratification. So this one I had also heard so, so much hype about. It is a beautiful brush. As you can see, it is used. I do need to clean this one. I've never cleaned it before. It's relatively new. This one is much heavier. Well, not much, but slightly heavier than the Tom Ford. And it's, it's a beautiful brush. I'm happy I have it. I enjoy using it. But again, this is not one where you would need to run out and buy this brush. Now, looking at this one, it kind of reminds me of the next one I want to talk about. This is the Sephora Collection brush. This is the Pro Featherweight Powder brush. And this is $40. So again, this is like the high price point, this is like the middle, and this is like the more lowish end. And then if you really want to take it to the low, low end, I would say this one I really love bronzing with this Real Techniques. This is a powder brush, but I really like it for bronzer. So anyway, back to this brush. This one I bought, again, very recently. I bought this on my birthday. I was feeling like treating myself, blah -de blah 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 And it just looked like a beautiful brush. It's always sold out on Sephora. It's very soft. 
it's gorgeous. I love the Sephora brushes. I wish I could buy more of them, but they are like, you know, kind of pricey. I think they go from like 15 to 20 to 40 ish dollars. And if I had to repurchase this, I don't think I would because I've tried it now and I know it's, it's a nice brush, but it's definitely not something you need to go into debt over buying. Like I said, I just wanted to treat myself for my birthday, but it's, it's nice, but it's not like, oh my God, it's nice. Like you need it, please buy it right now. So those are my bougie face brushes that I have. I have three of them. And now I wanted to talk about some bougie eye brushes that I have. So the first ones I bought are these guys by, let me make sure I grab them all, um, by Wayne Goss and so many of my YouTube friends swear by Wayne Goss brushes. I've heard so many YouTubers talk about Wayne Goss and I'm like, I don't get it. Like, is it really worth it? These brushes retail for $130. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. So these are $130. And um, again, I bought them on Beautylish. I could get the payment plan on these because I could split it into three payments. On Beautylish, it says, create virtually any eye look with the eye set, a collection of five handcrafted brushes designed by Wayne Goss. I believe Wayne Goss is a British makeup artist. During silky, soft, natural bristles, this set comes with everything you need to master a smoky eye, cut crease, wing liner, and so much more. What is special? Ultra soft, natural hairs laid on pigment without scratching or pulling the delicate skin near eyes. Each brush is carefully handmade in Kuamano, Japan, by more than 20 artisans using traditional brush making techniques. The eye set includes the new brushes 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So it also says on here that these are cruelty free and it says wash your brushes occasionally with gentle brush soap and let them dry hanging upside down. As with all brushes made with natural hair, some shedding may occur during the first few uses. So I've heard nothing but good things. Honestly, I'm really enjoying this brush set. As you can see, these are well used. This one is the number 16, which is like a big pointed blending brush and then the 17 feels like just a baby version of that and the 19 again is just the littler version this number 18 is like a blending brush but it's more like looks like a morphe 443 or 433 or 443 um it's like a flat blending brush and then this is like a nice little pencil brush also good for blending under the eyes or in to do some detail work. So I really like these brushes. Again, if you're on a budget, do you need to run and buy this, this $130 brush set? Absolutely not. But if you want to splurge, if you have a gift card, or if you want to do the payment plan thing like I did, I would totally recommend it. They're beautiful. They're definitely changing up my eyeshadow game. I reach for them constantly. They're so soft and beautiful. I really, really like them. So that is my next bougie brush set. And then the last bougie brush set that I very recently picked up, these are the Sonia G eyeshadow brushes and I just got these. These retail for, oh my gosh. <laughs> these retail for 150 and they were sold out forever and I grabbed them on the restock and all of my friends on YouTube have been raving about these. And basically it says, elevate your eye makeup with these essential tools from Sonia G. The Pro Eye Set comes with five handcrafted brushes designed to make working with eyeshadows faster, easier, and more fun than ever before. Perfect for beginners and pros alike. These best-in-class brushes help you master a variety of techniques and flawless results. So then it says there's a Pencil Pro, the Builder Pro, Worker Pro, Crease Pro, Blender Pro. I believe Terra Babies has these. Um, I think hot mess Ness, Vanessa has these too and I understand why people rave about these. They're beautiful. I used them for the first time today so again I can't recommend or review these right now but so far I've really enjoyed working with the two that I've tried and they're so beautiful and I'm so glad I splurged on these. Am I gonna go ahead and like remove all my Morphe brushes and throw away all my Real Techniques brushes? Absolutely not. But I'm glad that I'm kind of investing in more tools um, and trying out different 
more high-end stuff because I just want to know if it's worth the hype. Again, with all of these brushes, I wouldn't recommend running out and buying any of them. Definitely go the beauty lash route if you want to do like a payment plan because you don't pay any extra and you just get to split up the payments. If you get a chance to try them out, I would definitely recommend them, but it's definitely not something worth like running out and buying just so you could have them or going into debt over or anything like that. So Hopefully you found this little random video entertaining. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. You guys know I love chatting to you and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.